Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. What's going on? What's up, everybody? Hello. Hey, everybody. Hello, what's up? Another beautiful Monday, you know? Yeah, beautiful for a tornado season right now. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. How we doing? Good, how you doing? I'm well. Doing well. What's going on, everybody? Hey, Carlos, what's up? Hi. Hey. Hey, everyone. Happy Monday, what's happening? I, I, I got too much sauce. That's why it be dripping on. Oh. Um, have you guys ever like built a relationship with like a sales rep and they either like move to a different position or like leave the company? Like how does that transition to the next person? Yeah, so we've had we've had experiences where it's been a nightmare and we've lost relationships because of it. And then we've had other experiences where the person that we, the new person we get is even better than the last person. Um, and then there's the third where it's just the same service, practically the same person. So it really depends on the company and it's gonna vary case to case. Okay, all right, cool. You know, a lot of you okay. met Eddie. A lot of you met Eddie at, in Las Vegas. I introduced a lot of you to him. He was our account rep. He left, and and I haven't placed an order with them in two years because he left. Yeah, we're we're going to that same issue where the first account rep was amazing. The new one, it's like you can't even get a phone call. Yeah, it's all, everything's done by email. Yeah, sometimes you just got to take it a level up too. You know, go to their superior and be like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm trying to spend this money. You know, we we did great business in 2021. Hit them with some sales revenue of what you brought them, and be like, I'm I'm looking to triple that this year. I just need a little more consistency on your end. All right, cool. Thanks, man. I actually do have one more question though. Yeah, sure. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. So, I mean, what are some of the things that you've done in your business or businesses that help you scale from say, you know, 10 to 50 K or, you know, hundred, hundred K to 250 K per month as a one man show. Uh, well, starting from a one man show anyways. So let's just say if, if you, if outsourcing is a thing, what would be the first three things to outsource? Well, let me ask you this first. What do you spend the most time doing out of your week? Sourcing products, sourcing products, sourcing distributors. Okay, and what's second to that? Second to that is going through my emails. Okay, and what's third to that? Third, um, well, I still prep something myself. Okay. Um, so I would say that takes the, the next amount of- How many hours a week are you prepping? I would have put it all together, I'd say maybe- 15? Maybe no, no, maybe like eight hours a week. Okay, so one full day. I would say so, yep. Okay. So now we know your three top tasks on a daily basis, sourcing emails prep. What's most important <coughs> out of all of those? Sourcing, yep. Yeah, sourcing, 100%, right? Because that's the foundation of the company. If you're not sourcing products, you're not making money. So that's something that I would still hold on to initially, right? And then the other things, prep emails, that could be, that could be taught to someone very easily. The person who's doing the prep could also do the emails and they still might only work 30 hours a week. You know, so you bring that person in, here the prep, um, and then I would really bring on someone to help you source and find new distributors to open new wholesale accounts with. Yeah, yeah, so with the prep thing there, um, I'm, I'm gonna slowly get rid of prep. I'm using a prep center right now, uh, a few different prep centers for, for everything, so I can easily offload that um, yeah. to them. In terms of bringing uh, somebody in, I mean, I'm, I'm working out of my house right now, right? I don't have a yeah. warehouse or anything okay. like that, so okay. that's a bit out of the question, they, unless they wanna hang out in my garage for a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, so you're looking for more virtual. Yeah, I had a VA um, for about half a year doing, filling out online application forms, uh, giving some certain suppliers a call, trying to get accounts set up, but uh, some of the leads or some of the accounts she was opening up just wasn't quality. Yeah. And well, let me ask you a question. Where did she live, Mike? She was in the Philippines. Okay. So let me ask you this. What's the number one selling product in the Philippines? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some no coconut idea. juice. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea, right? So how is she supposed to understand the U.S. market if you have no idea what's going on in the Philippines? Yeah, good point. Good point. You know, you know, so I personally prefer, and some of you may disagree, which is cool, but I think the person that's reaching out and creating your accounts should be stateside. They understand the language, they understand the vernacular and the terminology, which is could be the difference between closing a deal and not closing a deal. So I would try taking that stateside or I don't I don't want to say doing it yourself because you can't scale if you're doing it yourself, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then Sebastian, you got any suggestions for what Mike could do? His his original question was scaling yes. from what was it, twenty to fifty? Yeah, I mean anything really. From 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 my instance here, hundred k to say two hundred fifty k or so. Okay, because what you need to do from a hundred to two fifty is a little different than what you got to do to fifty to one hundred. 
but same same concept nonetheless. Sure, I think the two most important things, I mean, kind of what Eric was touching on, which is the daily tasks that you're doing, if you're doing any of the labor, you should begin to delegate that to someone else and just co fully concentrate on the buying aspect. Because if you can take you're buying up a couple percent points within, you know, within every turn of your Amazon disbursement, you're gonna see your cash flow increase and then you're able to purchase more. And it's that snowball effect that within six months, a year, you'll be able to double two and a half, even three X your business, depending on where you are right now. And then the other aspect of it is looking at your expenses. I don't know if you're following through with your expenses right now, but see areas where you could cut uh, your expenses and, and even your time as well. You know, so you can focus more on buying. Yeah. So I think for me, getting rid of all the prep 100%, that would save, you know, a full day out of the work week. That'd be a great help, I think. And obviously, maybe try out the a different VA that has a better understanding of, you know, the landscape here in North America. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. 100%. I think that's a great place to start. And then just be vigilant with buying. You know, I think I think it's undervalued the buying position. It's it's the it's the most important position in, in our businesses is the buying yeah. position. So if you're doing it, you have the most most important role in your business. Yeah, something I've been doing. Uh, I don't know if I don't know when I want to give that up yet. It's a bit hard for me too, because uh, I'm from Canada, right? And if, if we do a lot of uh, when we do a lot of business in the U.S., Canadian credit cards don't have the ability to do, or as far as I know, don't have the ability to get virtual cards for employees. So it's more of a security thing, I guess, from from my standpoint. But I'm still looking to it. So maybe something's changed recently. You're from Edmonton, right? Yeah, man. I was just in Ed Edmonton, like no. a month ago. <laughs> I know. I saw from your videos or your Instagram feed. It's yeah. really cool seeing yeah, seeing that picture. I'm like, what the hell? No, I gotta tell backyard? you one thing. It is cold as f up there, man. I had I, I lost my cell phone. I don't I don't know where. I think up there somewhere. But I had these videos, and it was just it was so cold, man. I couldn't even believe it. Yeah, man. You came out one of the coldest times i think yeah yeah 100 <laughs> great great call another great call appreciate all of you yeah absolutely so if you got any questions hit us in the facebook group and uh we'll see you all next week same time same place hey doll all right have a good evening yeah. good night I'll see you at the top good night, night. everyone hey lit